Yeah, that's right, guys. The governor says he wants to attract a major manufacturer that will further bolster the state's commitment to new industries. However, to do that, he needs to get a major incentive, incentive package approved by the House and Senate committees, which is happening right now. He's doing this only a few hours after he made the announcement. So we have an opportunity to land uh, one of the largest factories in the entire country. Um, just a humongous, humongous factory with billions and billions of dollars worth of investment, thousands and thousands of jobs. And so I'm asking for the legislature to um, do some special, what we call mega legislation. Governor Kevin Stitt not saying who he's trying to attract, but didn't shut down rumors it's a plant that would make batteries for electric cars. And when you think about the disruption in that in the automobile industry, now's the time to go after it. Stitt wants to increase tax credits based on how much the company were to invest and increase tax rebates depending on the amount of good paying jobs that would be created. With so much focus on electric and electric vehicles, what do you think the future is for oil and gas here in Oklahoma? And natural gas, uh, oil industry uh, is not going anywhere. Uh, but that doesn't mean we can't look at transition and alternatives. And, and I believe Oklahoma does that as good as any other state. Some lawmakers, though, want to know more before they get on board, like State Rep Forrest Bennett. I'm not even opposed to, uh, to creating tax incentives for certain companies, especially when they're ones that I think represent industries of tomorrow, uh, because we rely on a lot of industries of yesterday here. But we need details. And as I mentioned, committees on both the House and Senate side are meeting right now to decide whether or not to approve this incentive package. Even if the governor gets the approval, he'll still need the approval of both the full House and the full Senate.